So far, so good. So, you welcome the first time to Falls? Yes. Good. Okay. Well, you're in number three. All right. You can just follow me. And listen. One here. They didn't have a photographer here. Hey, Jane. So for my taller friends, be aware of that, using the battle between rock and head, rock prevails. Uh, we also have some slick spots in the cavern, not so much here, but closer to the fall, so please do watch your step. And uh, we do have formations, too, that uh, they're very sensitive. They grow to rate of about a half a cubic inch every hundred years. So if you touch them, the oil from your skin get in there and retard that growth. So please uh, look, but don't touch. And then lastly, uh, it's a Saturday, so a busy day here for us. We have a lot of groups coming and going. So in some cases, we'll have to stop for them. They'll have to stop for us. It just kind of depends on the timing. And in some cases, we'll have some, you know, fairly tight quarters there. But, uh, you know, it'll work out. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Anyone have any questions before I uh, start up the video? You no, so. I'll be back when it uh, finishes up. As you move through the cave, please refrain from the use of gum and tobacco products. Stay with your guide and follow the safety instructions. Watch your head, watch your step, and use handrails where provided. Thank you. Thank you. Certainty. 
take the easy path, miss the detour that just might lead to something far more extraordinary. Sometimes, some people, not me. When my Ruby moved away to Tennessee, I could have stayed put, but I followed her south. She was my high school sweetheart. Usually, those things don't work out, but she's my wife now. So yes, that was the right call. Ruby and I have seen just about everything together. We come around the bend and see a new adventure. She takes my hand and off we go. Now, the minute I heard the historic tales of Lookout Mountain Cave, I felt that first pull. The mountain calling me in. I wanted everyone to see this underground cathedral. But the entrance was sealed. The railroad needed that passage for their mind. The time to give up the dream, right? No, sir. I started planning. It took near a decade. Investors took a chance on us, and we bought the land above the cave. The autumn leaves were falling as we started drilling in 1928. We were on our way, opening a new entrance into the cave. The crew worked around the clock, cutting the shaft for an elevator. That's right, an elevator. 420 feet straight into the heart of the mountain. We pulled up bucket after bucket of limestone, enough to build a castle. Then, at 260 feet, the unexpected happened. A burst of air from an opening into the unknown, 18 inches tall. I swear it summoned me. If our drills hadn't stayed true, if our aim had been a few feet in either direction, we would have missed it. Something we weren't even looking for in the first place, but we found it. Or maybe it found us. So down we went, crawling through the dark, with the mountain on our heads. We crawled for an hour, three hours, six hours before we could stand. Ruby's up there, waiting for me. But the same thing pulling me back is pushing me forward towards hidden beauty in the heart of this fine earth, a treasure worthy of her name. I know we're down deep, farther down than we ever expected to go. I imagined all the people that might come after us to this place to see something they've never seen before, something they'll never see. If we turn back now. Seventeen hours later, we crawl out of the dark, forever changed. It's the anticipation of what lies ahead that pushes us forward, that draws us to explore. Sometimes the unknown is the greatest adventure. six people raised their hands, so Leo would have had plenty of company. Uh, the second tour, maybe one person, this one looks like maybe one of you, so. Uh, yeah, I can't say I blame you for being a little hesitant, because uh, what Leo had to do was crawl through a passageway about this size right here, 18 inches in height. There's the ceiling, there's the floor. Now, this is not the actual passageway, but the same size. So, uh, probably helped him. He was only 5 foot 2 and 125 pounds. I don't think that's the kind of passageway that Shaq would have crawled. But uh, he was an experienced longer cave explorer, plus he was also a chemist in kind of a curious nature, so he didn't know exactly what was down here, but he just wanted to check it out. Probably a good thing he did because who knows how long it would have been before someone else would have stumbled upon the camera in the falls. In which case it might be named Jennifer Falls or Ashley Falls. Pick your name. So I think things, that work, things work out pretty well. Anyone have any uh, questions before we uh, continue? No? Okay. Please follow me. Watch know, let's get it on. Let's go sit down. 
Mm. Heads up. Heads down. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I want to. You want to take a picture, Jay? I want one of all of us. 